Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of GearTactics.com. I'm your host, Justin Lee, and we are checking out the Kangaroo Notebook by InFocus. I'm your host, Justin Lee, and as full disclosure, this was sent to us free of charge from InFocus. Nobody at InFocus reviewed this footage before posting. Good design. Well, I'll be the judge of that if that's good design. Nothing on the side here. This costs the Kangaroo Notebook costs $299 USD or $349 Canadian. It's available at Newegg. So I'll just put some post-it notes over the serial number there. And let's get down to the nitty-gritty of the Kangaroo Mini. There are two of these modules in here, so two separate modules. They both come with Windows 10 64-bit Home Edition. It comes with a Cherry Trail 1.44 GHz Intel Atom X5 processor. It's the Z8350 model. Comes with four cores, so it's a quad core processor. It's got Intel HD graphics. It's shared with the 2 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM in here. It has 32 gigabytes of eMMC storage. It's 802.11ac, so that covers A, B, G, and N bands. It's an Intel dual band AC3165 chipset. Sports Bluetooth 4.2. The uh, chipset is an Intel wireless Bluetooth. There is one micro SD card slot that supports up to 256 gigabytes of storage. Remember, there are two of these kangaroo minis here, two separate ones, so you can one for the kids and one for you. Uh, the actual notebook dock, there's only one notebook in here, it is 1.2 kilograms. That's pretty light. It's got a black finish. 11.6 inch HD anti-glare LED backlit display. The resolution is 1366 times 768. It's got a 1 megapixel 720p HD camera. Runs at 30 frames a second. 1 watt speaker and a built-in microphone. The power adapter is a 36 watt. The built-in battery is a 5000 milliamp battery. Of course it has a keyboard. A synaptics click pad, so that's one piece uh, mouse pad. One USB 2, one USB 3. Uh, that one actually supports 900 milliamps. The first one only supports 500, I just noticed. Has one headphone jack, 3.5 millimeters. One full size SD card reader. Supports up to 512 gigabytes. That's on the notebook itself. So let's unbox this and take a look at this interesting idea to have two separate computers and a notebook dock to put the two separate computers into. Oh, there it is. You know, one day I'm going to open one of these boxes and there's going to be nothing in there. Alright, so let's just get this out. The uh, kangaroo notebook. Oh, just put a little finger slot here. Alright, so there's the notebook. Wrapped in some nice cellophane to uh, keep it all protected. There's the other kangaroo mini. Not the same as the original kangaroo mini. You cannot put the original desktop kangaroo in this notebook. Well, it would have been nice if they used the same one. Under this flap here is the other kangaroo mini. So you get two of them as I said. Completely separate storage. They both have their own RAM, their own CPU, so that's great. Uh, you know, one for work, one for play, maybe one for your kids, one for you, one to hide your videos, <coughs> and the other one for your work. Alright, pretty light. Let's stick this out here. Alright, so there it is. Oh, there's the SD card, micro SD card, there's the dock. Alright, let's go vent here. These are just vents. The left side has the micro SD card reader. Oh, this is a pretty nifty idea. Oh, there's an on switch right here. Oh, that's the little on switch. It's cute. Totally separate computer. This is actually a great idea. You don't have to carry two laptops with you, one for the kids and one for you. Now you actually have two separate computers in one notebook. Alright, so uh, there's no way that your kids, if they infect their module they'll be able to infect your computer I suppose they somehow install cryptovirus uh, you won't get it because only the other 
Kangaroo Mini will be infected. You'll go clean that up or reinstall Windows. And you'll be all good to go. All your taxes and your work and important stuff will be separate. Completely separate. Alright, let's get the uh, power plug out of here. Which appears to be caught on the... something. Why is it not coming out? Okay, what's going on here? Oh, there's a flap. Alright. Let's just get this over the flap. And of course the bottom gets stuck in the flap. Well, that was way more work than I expected. Here's the power brick. Nothing else in there. Oh, standard three prong. Yep. Power plug, and here's the brick. Uh, you can pause it here if you'd like to take a look at the uh, stats of this, uh, specifications of this power brick. Go ahead and do that if you want. I believe it said it was 32 watts. Not too much power. Alright, let's get these out of the way and to get back to the notebook. So this module here goes into here. There's already one in here. There it is. Close. Well, it's in there pretty good. Well, obviously you don't want this to fall out. Well, you swap these two, right? Okay, let's adjust the camera here so I can flip this up. Yeah, it's got quite a fingerprint magnet. And it helps if you open the right side. Ta-da! Oh, that's a cute little piece of paper. It actually has little arrows on it pointing to every single slot. Well, I guess... You know what, you don't even need to watch this video because this piece of paper tells you everything. <laughs> it's pointing to all the um, ports. <laughs> hey kangaroo, are you trying to take my job away? What is this? Alright, uh, just kidding. Just kidding, in focus. Alright, let me just adjust this so that you can see all these lovely little arrows here. Nice little quick start guide. And, oh, hang on, I can't see the left side. There we go. Alright, so on the left is the kangaroo mini slot. That's where the, that's where the computer goes. Alright, speaker here. Full size SD card slot. Audio headphone jack, USB 2, USB 3, and the power plug. It's kind of cool, there's a full SD card slot on the side there. Now, number 4 there actually tells me to uh, have to pull outward left to pull these modules out of the notebook. Those instructions that I turn on, pretty sure I know how to do that. Now this is funny, you know, it's like the retention force is actually written on this piece of paper to pull it out. May require some force. Okay. Let's see how strong I am and how much force it actually requires. Actually, no, wait, I know how much force it is required. They actually wrote it. <laughs> yeah, nice little summary of everything there. Yeah, this is the uh, nitty gritty, the brains. Power button removal slot, thermal vent, uh, micro SD slot, dock connector. Yeah. So here's the touch pad here. Focus out of here. Zoom out a bit. Uh, it's one of those one piece ones. There's no button for the mouse clicks. Keyboard seems good. Uh, let me peel this. Oh, you know what? I'm actually going to try and get this out first before I peel off the uh, protective film there. Ooh. Yeah, they're not, they're not kidding here. Let's try holding this. Uh, nope. Oh, why did I cut my nails? I can't get this out. Hang on. Let's flip this over and see what's going on on the bottom here. Ah, nice little ridge here. Okay. Let's try this two handed. Pull this out. Actually, you know I should probably put this down <laughs> so I don't drop it. There we go. Got it out. All right. So you pull that out, put that in. Obviously, while it's off, and you have two separate computers. It's kind of cool. That's definitely a unique idea. Oh wait, I didn't show you the side, did I? Hang on. There's the full-size SD. Headphone jack, 
USB 2, USB 3, and the power plug. Even though the little paper did say that. This side is a vent. Haha, the paper didn't say that. Speaker? Okay, the paper did say that. On the back, there is no HDMI out. So if you want to hook this up to the TV, you're going to have to buy a caster. Yeah, there's no HDMI. That would have made this quite perfect. Let's center this. Alright, so I've already charged it up here, inside here, so I can set up uh, windows. And I can peel this off. Gotta love that sound. So I've actually had to set up windows twice, because there's two kangaroo minis here, so I gotta set up windows twice. Fortunately, windows is already installed, so that's not a problem. Okay, so it's all set, and here it is booting in real time. Sorry for the fuzzy filming. I am filming a lap notebook screen. It doesn't have HDMI out. So it should boot pretty fast. So I just turned it on after I did the window setup. And I'm already in! The EMMC storage is fast enough, that's for sure. Okay, so this is the first computer module I have in here. I just uh, want to show you uh, some surfing, some office work. We'll see how uh, zippy it is. I'm just going to launch Internet Explorer Edge here. Edge browser. Sorry if my hand comes in the shot every now and then. Because I'm trying to type around a tripod. Let's see how YouTube is. YouTube's a pretty heavy site. That seems alright. We'll have to uh, test out the speakers. Oh, looks like one of the ads is loading. It's actually a video. Thank oh, thank you, Oprah. We're loading down the slowing of this page. But uh, that was fine, sir. No problem. Watch some YouTube. Let's head, head over to my channel here. And we'll click on a video and test out the speakers. And we'll see how fluid the video is if it drops any frames. That's a preview, previous review of a $32 car dash camera. You need a website. Why not do it yourself? With Wix, you can oh, create your right. own professional website. Choose from hundreds. No, not much bass, but Hi, everyone. it's a laptop Welcome speaker after all. Another episode of GearTactics.com. This time we are looking at the Kickback Mini Full HD 1080p car dash camera. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I complain about that. It's not, it's not skipping, it's not buffering. I would say uh, if you want to use this to watch uh, YouTube videos or Netflix, it's not a problem. Just download the Netflix app on the Microsoft Store and you'll be all set. Alright, so let's uh, do some surfing. Let's head over to, uh, let's head over to Gear Tactics. Alright, so let's see how it looks. Loading up the website now. GearTactics.com has lots of YouTube videos, so let's let's see how this uh, how this loads. Alright, spin in there, but uh, there are like ten YouTube videos embedded on this page. It's taking a little long here, but it's not, not there. Okay, not bad. Took like seven seconds, big deal. Well, once it's loaded, it scrolls just fine. No lag, no no skipping. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is get some work done. Let's load up Word uh, 2016. You hear that click of the that single piece touchpad. It is a little loud, but uh, it works. Alright, so uh, let's uh, work on my CV here. My resume. This one looks a little complicated. Huh? Alright. Let's type my title here. Whoops. 
Oh, that was my bad. Like, I'm trying to type around a tripod here. Editor. Oops. Yeah, as you can see, the, the keyboard's quite clicky. It, it makes this clicking sound as you uh, as you type. So, uh, other than that, the uh, keyboard's fine. If you don't like loud, clicky keyboards, you probably won't like this, but... It does fine. Touch is good. Alright, so now you've done your work, and your kid wants to use the notebook. So, let's just, uh... Shut this down here. <laughs> Alright, so you shut this down, and now you can uh, pull out the module here. It has all the storage CPU and everything in it. Let's yank this out. Completely separate. See? Separate. Uh, take your kids' kangaroo mini here. Shove them in the slot. Turn it on, and you're all good to go. So now it's booting up here. I just skipped the uh, boot screen. So now your kid is completely isolated from you. As you can see, the desktop's completely different because it's a different computer. We're gonna. Uh, he probably wants to play something uh, fun, so uh, Phantom Forces is quite popular. Let's see how that runs on this. Okay, where is this? Phantom Forces. Uh, let's pick this guy. Let's see how fast it loads. Okay, I'm already in. And I already hear gunfire. Okay, let's hope I don't get wasted here, because I've never played this. Especially also, I'm playing on a touchpad. Maybe I should have hooked up a mouse. Alright, anyways, let's go. Oh, it's running pretty well. No, oh, appears to be nighttime. Oh, someone just got killed there. Oh, that's, oh, oh those snipers. Okay. Hey, okay, don't yell at me in the comments saying how bad I am at this game. I've never played it. Let me run. Hang on, let me get out of fire in range of those uh, snipers. Okay. Yeah, it's running quite smoothly. So your kids will have fun with their with their uh, module, and you can get work done on the other one. Not a problem. So you don't have to bring carry two laptops with you when you go on vacation. You just carry one. Ow. Oh. You you took my kill. Alright, let's find somebody to kill here. This is this is ridiculous. There's like nobody on the opposing team. Let me follow that guy. Or maybe this guy. And you know what? I'm gonna follow that guy. Seems to be a lot of my teammates over there. Nobody here. I hear a lot of gunfire, but nobody to shoot at. Okay, I'm running. Oh, one of my teammates got killed over here, so there's gotta be something going on. Oh, there it is. Okay, where is he? It's a sniper, isn't it? Let me go hide in here. Jump! I'm definitely not having any problem playing this game. Well, other than the fact that I'm not good at it. Certainly running perfectly fine. Oh! Ha! Take that, buddy. Oh, another one. Ha! Oh! Oh, sniper got me. 
All right. So definitely no problem playing Phantom Forces on the Kangaroo Notebook. All right. Overall, I'm quite impressed with this. The fact that you've got two modules here, completely separate, safe from uh, viruses and your kids messing with your stuff. I'm just going to show you the uh, angles of the uh, screen here. It's pretty good. Not bad for a $2.99 USD. You can get it from Newegg Canada or US. It's a uh, $3.50 Canadian in Canada. Overall, I am very happy with this notebook, especially with the uh, two-module feature, if that's what you're looking for. It's actually a price of a regular laptop for $2.99, so I would say pretty good. Uh, keyboard's a little loud. The uh, single touchpad, if you don't like that, if you don't like uh, having no physical key down there, just one piece, that may irritate you. No HDMI out, but it's still pretty good. So, like us on Facebook, Gear Tactics. Twitter is also at Gear Tactics, and of course we have a website. You guessed it, it's GearTactics.com. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you're notified of new videos. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to click that like button. Catch you in the next video.